guys. Hi guys. So today we're starting with uh, doing some more with parallel and perpendicular lines. What we're going to be doing now is writing an equation with knowing if lines are parallel or perpendicular. Here we go. What are we doing? Given a linear equation at a certain point, you can create another equation that passes through this point and is either parallel or perpendicular. So things you want to keep in mind. Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal. slopes, <laughs> flows. Sometimes negative reciprocal I think of as opposite sign and then reciprocal is flipped. It's kind of your common way to think about it. Okay, so let's work some examples now. Number one, write the equation of a line that passes through this point, negative two seven and is parallel to the line y equals negative 4x plus 1. What you need to do is you've got to find out what is. So the first thing that you do is find slope. Well, in here, my slope is negative 4. Second thing you're going to do is plug in slope and point. into point slope formula. That's the easiest one to use because then you can solve simply to y equals mx plus b. Step three, solve for y to get into y equals mx plus b. Oh, you can't see it today. All right, let's work the problem. I'm taking the slope and the point, and remember this is x1, y1, and we're plugging into y minus y sub 1 equals m, open parentheses, x minus x sub 1, and we plug in our information. So I'm going to have y minus 7 equals negative 4, open parentheses, x minus negative 2, double negative. So now I begin. Distribute. So I have y minus 7 equals negative 4x minus 8. Add 7 to both sides. And we end up with y equals negative 4x minus one. This is the equation that is parallel to this one. All righty, here we go. Number two, we're adding just a little bit more. This one was very nicely written in y equals mx plus b already, so it was easy to pull out. Number two is written in standard form. So here we have to solve for y first. We're given a point. We want it parallel to this equation. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides and I get negative 3y equals negative x plus 9 divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. And y equals one third x minus three. So for this one, my slope is one third. So I'm going to use this slope and this point, and I'm plugging into the point slope form again. So we have y minus negative one equals one third open parentheses x minus 3, close parentheses. And now I distribute. So I have, oh, and we have a double negative there, so it becomes a plus. So we have y plus 1 equals 
one third x. When I do one third times negative three, they're negative reciprocals of one another. So this is going to be equal to negative one minus one from both sides. Y equals one third x minus two. This is the equation that is parallel to this one that's in standard form. This is my answer. Now we're gonna look at it for perpendicular lines. Again, if you have questions, pause it, re-listen, or come and ask, pause and come ask me a question. Number three, or make sure that you put a question mark by it and ask me the next day if you're watching it at a different time. Okay, number three, write the equation of a line that passes through this point, but is perpendicular to the line y equals two x minus four. Well, my current slope is two. My perpendicular slope is going to be the opposite of this sine wise and flip. So that's gonna be negative one half. So now <clears throat> I plug into the formula. So you have y, e not y equals, y minus three equals four, no, not four, ooh. Wilson's Russian. My new perpendicular slope, we plug in the new perpendicular slope here, minus one half, not minus negative, open parentheses, x minus four. My brain is just jumping ahead. Now we simplify for y, we solve for y. Distribute. I have y minus three equals negative one half x, negative one half times negative four. That's going to give me a positive two. Because four divided by two is two, and negative times a negative is a positive. Now we add three to both sides. And we end up with y equals negative one half x plus five. And there we go. And this line is perpendicular to this one. And it's very easy to see that because these two slopes are negative reciprocals of one another. Okay, number four. This is the same type of scenario. Like for parallel, the only difference is we have to have a perpendicular slope. I gotta find it first. So again, Solve for y first. So I'm going to subtract 5x, subtract 5x, 3y equals negative 5x minus 21, divide by 3 to everything, y equals negative 5 thirds x minus seven. Now I can pull out the original slope and find what my perpendicular slope is. The perpendicular, since this is a negative five thirds originally, then that means I flip it and make it positive. So it's gonna become three fifths. This is the slope that I'm going to use. So we have y minus, now I use this point, one equals three fifths, open parentheses, x minus negative five. Well, that's a double negative. So this is gonna be, become a big plus. And now we distribute. Y minus one equals three fifths x. The fives are gonna be nicely canceling. This is so nice when they work out that way. So this becomes negative three fifths x plus three. Add one to both sides. And we get y equals three fifths x plus four. This is the equation that is perpendicular to the one in standard form right here. Okay, you're gonna finish the notes and you'll have a great day. Bye.